Hello and welcome to the final section of this video course. In this section, we're going to implement a natural language processing application in an end-to-end -end fashion. That means that we're going to understand the initial business use case. Secondly, we will get an understanding of the data set that we're going to use. Third, we're going to train a neural network on this data set to solve this NLP problem on SageMaker. And finally, we're going to deploy the trained neural network as a RESTful endpoint to SageMaker. So let's go and understand the use case. Let's say that you work for an online travel company and currently the internal search functionality allows only searching for destinations. So for example, London, UK, or New York, USA, or Berlin, Germany. The search product team wants to run a test. Essentially, they want to allow potential travelers to perform free text search, but they want to run this test only to the internal flight search functionality. So for example, they want to allow users to search for show flights from Boston to New York today, or show flights from Austin to Seattle tomorrow morning, instead of having to specify the departure destination, arrival destination, dates, etc., etc. So we're going to use the ATIS dataset the Airline Travel Information Systems named Entity Recognition Dataset. This dataset consists of various queries, lots of queries from people that participated in a research project called ATIS. So you can see here an example of a query, so flights from Boston to New York today. And each token in every query is annotated. So in this case, show is annotated as other. We're not interested about this. Flights as other. From as other. Boston as the beginning of departure. We're interested about that. To as other. New as the beginning of arrival. York as the intermediate of arrival. Today as the beginning of departure date today relative. This data set consists of 127 labels. So let's go and take a look of this data set. We have a really good data engineering team that have uploaded the artist data set to S3. So we can see here that consists of five folds and all of them are pickle files. So how are we going to get a feeling of this data set to understand how to manipulate it in, in order to train a machine learning model. Here comes SageMaker, and more specifically, the notebooks that SageMaker provides. So we can go to Notebook Instances. We can create a Notebook Instance easily. We can give a name, let's say, Atis Exploration. We choose this instance type, then we have to choose an IAM role. You can either use an existing one or you can create a new role. Let's go and create a new role. In this new role, you can specify which specific S3 buckets this notebook has access to. Let's say any S3 bucket. Create role, it's created. We don't use any VPC. We can use just the default five gigabyte volume size. And here comes something really cool. We're not going to use it at the moment, but it's really useful. You can also make a Git repository available to this notebook. It can be either a public or a private one. And that's it. Let's go and create a notebook. Once it is created, you can choose with a specific environment for your notebook. 
it's really amazing. So we can choose the Conda Python 3 and we can have something like that. Import Boto 3. You see here that Boto is already installed. If a library is not installed, you are free to install it yourself. Using Boto 3, we need to create an S3 client. So we're going to create an S3 resource and then create an S3 object. The artist data is essentially the bucket name. As we see here, bucket name artist data. And then the key, just the first fold, artist.fold0.pkl. Then we read the content as bytes. We import pickle. And then we load the bytes using pickle. According to the artist documentation, we should use the Latin one encoding. I have attached the link to the artist documentation into the slides. So then this artist hold zero variable consists of four other variables, the train set, the valid set, test set, and some dictionaries. Consists of three internal dictionaries. Labels to index, tables to index, and words to index. We're interested about the first and the last one. From the labels to index, we can see how many classes this data set consists of. 127. And then what we need to do is to show you the labels. So we're going to iterate over the keys of the labels and I'm going to sort them. So we see here other beginning of aircraft code, beginning of airline code, beginning of airline name, beginning of arrive time period of day, beginning of city name, intermediate of city name, so many classes. And then from the train set, we're interested about two things, the train X and the train level. So we just took the fourth example from the training data set. We see here that can't essentially see the query, the human readable query, but just some indexes, some IDs. So in order to translate from the IDs to words, we need to create an index to word dictionary, essentially the opposite from words to index. So given that, we can see the human readable query, which is show me the cheapest round trips from Dallas to Baltimore. Then we want to see what are the labels for each token. Again, we only see the IDs of each label. So we need again to get the inverse dictionary of labels to index, which is going to be index to label. And then we see the labels of each token. So the token show has the label O. The same for me. The token cheapest has the label B cost relative. Round is the beginning of round trip. Trips, the intermediate of round trip. From O other. Dallas, the beginning from location city name. To other. Baltimore beginning to location city name. That's really cool. We don't need any notebook to be installed locally, any way to have the authentication keys to connect to S3. Everything is already configured by SageMaker.